respective teams. These are the six hoping to be on the top step of the podium when all is done and dusted. So then 50 targets to gold and silver. We lose our first athlete after 25 targets. And our next after 30, all the way through to 40, where bronze is decided. 50 targets, then another 10, until we realize who has gold and who has silver. Liptak getting us underway with a hit. The uh, sun has definitely taken leave of us at the moment. Hasn't been out for a while. It'll be low in the sky to the left if it does come out. That's Eni. Nicely done. Coward Holly of Great Britain. Ranked number three in the world now. And a mixed team gold at Lenato a few weeks ago. That's it, so Kawagulu. 21 years of age. Another youngster coming through the ranks. Kratzini, 28. Coward Holly, 26. Kavakochi is 36. Liptak. A couple of World Cup goals, but all the way back. The last one in 2016, and there is our first miss. Or was that a no target? Anyway, here's De Filippis. And that is definitely a miss. Now Grazzini, the second of the Italians. That's better. The coach will be happier with that. Card Holly, no problems at all. Is it Sekirogulu? I did check uh, with his coach how to pronounce his name and he said, just call him Ionis. <laughs> Which I suspect a lot of people who aren't Greek do. Philippis, that's better from him. Grazzini. In the blue of Italy, such a strong nation when it comes to trap shooting and skeet shooting for that matter. Great preparation ahead of the Tokyo Olympics. This uh, European Championship, the largest competition in any sport ahead of Tokyo. At one stage or another, we'd have welcomed 1,500 or so athletes through the doors of the Pampas Shooting Club. Not before they've had their COVID test, of course. The San Marino contingent lining up behind me this afternoon. So far, so good for Liptak. To Philippis with the one miss so far. This is going to be a tight one, you suspect. Straight down the middle, remember, these athletes will get uh, in five shots. They'll get one straight on, a couple to the left, a couple to the right. And a miss from Kova Kochi, the Slovakian. And the angles can be anything from 45 to zero, straight down the middle, the straightaway as they call it and varying heights from three metres to one and a half metres at ten metres out. So lots of variables and there are nine different uh, tables that they choose from. One from random, of course, at random. Way to the left for 
that coward Holly. Oh, and that is a miss from the Greek athlete. And it's a Kirogido would not be happy with that. Oh, and another miss from Kovacochi. Two in a row from the Slovakian. A little bit brighter. So I think about to poke its head out from behind the clouds. The uh, athletes have got those light enhancing glasses, of course. Nice from Grazzini. Coward Holly. So far, so good for him as well. We have three athletes, six out of six. This isn't one of them. As it's a Kirogulu. Has just the one miss, unlike Kovacochi. Back into the green after two misses. No waiting around. Liptak straight into it. De Philippis next. Grazzini looking to stay amongst the leaders here. It's low, wasn't it, that one? Backed it, though. And here's a chance for Coward Holly to join the party as well. Three on seven then. A little bit of work to do from the athletes who qualify fifth and sixth. And so it's Kirogulu with a miss. Three targets will go now. And Kovacochi coming back into some form. A couple of hits after a couple of misses. one that got away. Grazzini. That's his first miss. Howard Holly now in a joint share of the lead with Yuri Liptak. And the sun has just come out again. Makes life a little easier. Oh, for the athletes. Having said that, Kovacochi misses another one. That's uh, three out of five in the last... Uh, Series, no target being called there. Came out broken. The Italian will have to shoot that one again. <laughs> Nicely done in the end. And here towards 10 out of 50 targets. We will pause and see how we look on the scoreboard. But remember, it's 25 targets before we have our first athlete leave. So plenty of changes in the leader. And that might be one of them. Coward Holly with a miss. So Liptak, one ahead. It's that's a Kirogulu. Now... A four-way share of second. Kovacochi is a little bit behind at the moment with six. Ooh, and one down the middle. Calls a miss. VAR goes up straight away. Certainly from the athlete, there was a murmur from the stands behind, who were right behind the targets. So the Russian officials will go around and have a look at the VAR screen and make their mind up. We will all watch as well. The athletes will just have to wait. So a challenge on this target from Mauro de Filippis. Thank you. 
Keep an eye out to see if there's any puff of powder. Hmm. Might have a better idea from here. There you go. I think I just saw a hit. It's going on. Just wait for them out there. There you go. You can hear the noise of the shotgun as well. At around the same time. And they've made their decision. Round they come. Yep. Good decision. And you can see how difficult it is for the referee to see that. But VAR not missing it. And so he keeps that target on to nine for De Filippis. Now Grassini. And he's on to nine as well. Cameron Holly of Great Britain. Way to the right, and he'll stay with nine points. He cool with the two Italians. As it's uh, Kirogulu. And he's got his supporters as well. Ten targets gone then. Fifth of the way through this uh, competition. And at the moment it's Yuri Livtak of the Czech Republic who is yet to miss one. Ten out of ten for him. Different story for Kovacocci. Three misses for him. Leaves him two adrift. And a four-way tie for second. That sun is definitely out. It's definitely warmed up a wee bit. A better day. We've had a few chilly old days. The locals tell us it's. They'll tell me it's not that uh, normal. It's normally a bit warmer at this time of year. We are just into June, of course. It's very tight, isn't it, at the moment. Kovacocci has to keep hitting, I was about to say, otherwise he will be even further adrift. And he's now three away. 25 targets, though, before you have to leave. The first person has to leave, so there is time to sort this out. Coward Holly, a distinctive... Uh, Turned up collar. Yeah, rather uh, snatched at that one. And there's the typical coach exhalation after a, a problem. So Carol Holly started well, drifting away a wee bit. Still comes to the head of Kovacocci. Who has just missed another one? That's three out of five in the last two. Oh, and it's spreading. A first miss from Liptak. Way to the right. Oh, the coach very quickly up saying it was a no target. And I'll take that one again. Referee. Saw what was going on. Coach certainly saw what was going on as well. goes up. I think that was a, another no target. We've had problems from the, these uh, traps yesterday. That's how we don't have too many today. And after all that, it's a miss. 
Oh dear. Matt Carl Holly with his supporters giving him some cheer as well. It's uh, Kirogulu. Greek athlete. Here he is. So, a share of the lead for the youngster. Kovacocci, another miss. Oh my, he's four behind now. De Filippis. Going well. Share of the lead. Grazzini. Also there or thereabouts. This is important from Howard Holly. Getting a lot of uh, support. As is this, this young man. 21 year old. This is first senior final and he's showing a lot of composure. Now, Kovacocci. Oh dear. It's, I, I don't know whether it's something the Slovakians had for breakfast, but you may remember Susanna Reak Stefasakova really struggling in the women's final and finishing sixth. And Marian Kovacocci at the moment is on the same trajectory. And the wind is coming from a different direction. They're just drifting from right to left. Normally we get it from left to right. It's, as you can see from the powder, not a raging gale by any stretch of the imagination. Just moving the tops of the trees. And then Kovacocci, who's missed his last four. Doesn't miss that one, but he's in a spot of bother five adrift of everybody else and look at the uh, improvement from Hazitsa Kirogulu up into a share of the lead five athletes within a point of each other Kovacocci in all sorts of bother at the moment he has been world champion 12 years ago now, so he is a class athlete. But even the best have their off days, as we saw in the women's contest. Just not happening for Rehak Stefasakova or Fatima Galvez for that matter. Well, we watch on in the sunshine as these athletes battle it out. This to go into the share of the lead again. Nicely done. Way to the left. Tricky one. Nicely done by the Italian. Now his compatriot, Grazzini. Cowan Holly is back on it after a little wobble. That's his uh, Kirogulu. He's been very impressive, hasn't he? Tricky target for Kovacocci. No problems with that. He's still five behind everybody else. Philippis back in a decent groove here at the 40 year old. World number one. Showing why he's always a danger. Grazzini also in the top 10. 
Matthew Coward Holly, number three in the world. And this young man, the 21 year old, 84th in the world, but you imagine his rankings will be steadily increasing. And of course, he's still inside the top 50. Remember, it doesn't have to be a puff of powder and splintering targets. It just can be a nibble from just one pellet of the shotgun. And that's enough. As long as you can spot it, of course. He's shooting so well, isn't he? That's it, uh, Kirogulu. Not the same it can be said, I'm afraid, for Kovacocci, who's having a torrid time. Lip tack. Just the one miss from him. Same for De Philippis. Rosini staying very close to the leaders. As is Coward Holly. Not that many misses. We saw a lot more variables in the women's competition. Oh, and there is a miss. And that is from Sekirogulu. 20 targets then, just five more before we lose our first athlete. I think we know who it's going to be because there is a more than a five target gap. And also Kovacocci qualified sixth, so even if he was able to tie with somebody, he would be the athlete to go out. The other athletes, just a point between them, looking forwards rather than over their shoulder. VAR straight away. Oh, the Italians you never left guessing their feelings, are you? About a pair of like his uh, skeet compa compatriot and <laughs> counterpart feels there was an obvious hit. I didn't see it myself. But I am a little further away from where they are, and we'll have this official review. Just checking for a broken target. Didn't seem to be a broken target now then. Keep an eye out for any powder. There is some there, but I think that's from a previous target, just drifting in the ether. There is a little bit of unsteadiness about that uh, target, and that's what they'll have another look at. can't see anything obvious but there is definitely from that this one here now watch there you go you can see there's a change in its trajectory it wobbles quite clearly and that would suggest that it has been hit that's a really good spot from the coach well, let's just uh, double check that the referees feel the same way but uh, they're on their way they've seen enough Into the sunshine from the gloom behind the big scoreboard comes a Russian referee. Oh, oh ho, 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 ho. they did not like that. <laughs> the Italian contingent. <laughs> oh, waving his hands, rocking back and forth. I think he might have a point there, but you know, in the end of the day, it's what the referees feel. And there, there's definitely a change in the way that was rotating, but uh, the way the referee interpreted it, it was a miss, and Liptak is one ahead.
Well, that'll be a talking point. Whatever happens from now on in. And that is another miss from Hatsitsa Kirogulu. He's dropping behind now. He's not going to go out in sixth place, that's for sure. This is the athlete. Maybe not this one, this is uh, the one in the blue with the six on his bib. That was lipped at. This is De Philippis. Grazini. Slightly to the left for Cameron Holly, but nothing too terrible. Back on it for the Greek athlete. Hit from Kovacocci as well. Twenty-third round of shots for these athletes. It's certainly a marathon, not a sprint at the beginning, especially after 125 targets. Remember, a perfect 125 from Liptak. Carrot Holly back in the thick of it. That's it, so Hirogu has missed another one. I was going to say, has missed two in a row and now a third in four. And that has dropped him down away from the chasing pack. Lip tack. Well, just the one miss from the Czech Republic athlete. It's been good from these others, hasn't it, as well? A really high standard of shooting in this final. Pressure on... Oh, my word. <laughs> Came out to no target. It ballooned about 50 metres into the sky. He kind of followed it so far and then just gave up. Definitely no target. <laughs> we all find it quite amusing. He's just got to concentrate. And he did really well. That went away to the right. A tricky one. Well done. Okay, Rikochi. Back into the groove. He's been really good in the last... A series of five shots as the Slovakian, but it's too little too late, unfortunately. Heading to our final round of targets before we lose our first athlete. It's such a gap, even with and since Kirogulu missing a few. Tight at the top, not so tight at the bottom. It's like a clue with, is that a hit? No, three out of the last five missed by the Greek athlete who was challenging for the lead. And the one consolation is at the moment, he's not going to have to make way. Marian Kovacocci is the man who has to make way in sixth place. It's not been his day that uh, Third series was a shocker, wasn't it? Four in a row, I think it was, where he missed. So he takes sixth place. Three adrift of uh, Hatsitsa Kirogulu. At the top, Liptak, just the one miss. And then De Filippis, Grazi, Grazini and Coad Holly, all on 23. Bit of a gap now between uh, them and the Greek athlete. And only five targets, of course, before we lose our next athlete. So the odds are up against, uh, that's it, uh, Kirogulu. Be 
you going for a little under half an hour here trying to get to the sharp end of this competition Ooh, tricky one away to the left and missed by Grazzini. Coward Holly doesn't miss. Great cheers from the British team. And a hand up from uh, the Greek athlete, just wanting a little extra time to sort himself out. Nicely done. Well, he was flying for a while but too many mistakes in the latter part of this competition he will though finish fifth in a final unless something extraordinary happens and for a first ever senior final that is not a bad effort Grazzini not bad after his miss before, Coward Holly straight down the middle. Well, it's nip and tuck. Decision on fourth might well be quite tight. They have to track these targets. And like Skeet, they can get into their shooting positions, of course. But with the targets disappearing at 120 kilometers an hour, it's not easy. Hours and hours and hours of practice. Sack shooting well, keeping himself ahead of everybody else. Just the one miss from him. Excellent work. De Philippis is shooting well as well in these latter stages. And goes up from the referee. A miss from Grazzini. He's missed two in the last four. Ooh, and a miss from Coward Holly. And I think there might be a challenge here. Is there? No. Nothing from the youngster. No, I'm just checking what's given. There's a green. That's why there was no reaction. So the last round before we lose our fifth place athlete, it will be the uh, Greek youngster, the 21 year old. And that is a miss. Was it a no target? Might well be a no target because he's going to he's going to go again. Sometimes it's not easy to discern if you're not right where he is to see if it's a no target or not. So way to the left, and that is a hit, and he's pumped, isn't he? Now then, last target from that's it, uh, Kirogulu, and it is a miss. But what an experience for this young man! First senior final, fifth place for him. He'll be disappointed, but he's done really well. Came sixth in the junior European Championships two years ago. But uh, this time it's a fifth place in the senior final. Four left then. Grazzini in a spot of bother. It's been eventful, hasn't it, so far? Especially for our Italian coach. Every five targets 
And we'll kind of speed up because, of course, we've got less athletes at the shooting positions, so less time for them to wait. Here's the conversation. Oh, he's done ever so well. That's his uh, Kirogulu. Obviously hungry for more success. Oh, and a miss from the leader. To Philippis. Nicely done. Rosini in a spot of bother at the moment, needs to keep hitting and just see what happens to everybody else. This is for a share of the lead for Calvin Holly. Way to the right, no bother for him. It's going to be tight. Oh, hang on a second. What's that? Shopping list? Probably notes, to be fair to the coach. Well, we are getting towards the podium positions. It's getting tense, but it looks like it is Grazzini who will have to make way. Chasing that way, that one over to the right hand side. Too much to make up for the Italian. It is certainly is now. Casini with a higher bib number than Coward Holly. And that's all a bit academic because we are about to lose. Grazini is our fourth place athlete. Qualified third in that uh, shoot off with Coward Holly for position. And Coward Holly is the athlete with the lowest bib number, so he has to hope that he's not equal bottom when it comes to uh, deciding bronze. Keeps him in to the delight of the British athletes and uh, to the disappointment, I'm sure, of the Italian fans. One of their athletes has to make way. The 28 year old Valerio Grazzini got a junior bronze here, but has not got a senior medal this time. Fourth place for the man who is world number seven. Three left, podium places assured, but which step of the podium will it be? Just the one miss in that last five rounds of shooting, that from Yuri Liptak. You suspect it's gonna go down to the wire, but you never know. The Italian. Coward Holly. High into the left. Difficult to see from the coach's seats because the sun is beaming down into your eyes. They're slightly twisted towards the sun. The athletes looking away mostly. Oh, and there's another miss from Lip Tack. So the man from Bruno, at the moment, in danger, and there he does, is throwing away the lead. It's only by a point, though. Coward Holly, can he take advantage? 
Yes, he can. Well, they're noisy, aren't they? They're a noisy bunch, the Brits. They're making their presence felt and hoping that uh, their man can hear them. Oh, yes. De Philip is, is such a class athlete. Hasn't been in the lead at all until the last series, and he's all of a sudden starting to look very good. World number one. A slightly worried look on Yuri Liptak's coach's face. Miss from the Italian this time round, though. And look at that, a new leader. No wonder they're noisy in the stands. It's a, a real nip and tuck affair, this one, isn't it? Straight down the middle for De Philippis. Coward Holly, chance to stay ahead, and he backs the difficult one to the right-hand side. 40 targets gone, and uh, it is Mauro to Philippis with that miss. The shot before last was a very expensive one, and so Italy have a medal, but it's not going to be gold and it's not going to be silver. It is an Olympic quota place, though. We do have those available. The last ones, one for the men, one for the women. And he gets that. So there is some consolation. But Mauro de Filippis of Italy. Well, he slipped down, didn't he? Lost that one target, and that was enough. Liptak with bib number one. De Filippis with bib number two. And they were level. So just two left now. Olympic quota places. We've had them indoors and outdoors. Trap and skeet. The last of the Olympic quota places, the IWSF Secretary General, Alexander Ratner, telling me how proud they are that all the quota places have been allocated in competition, not on ranking or whatever. So... Uh, this uh, European Championship, very important in that uh, respect. And now then, we look to see who's going to take the uh, gold medal here. Yuri Liptak with a miss early on in this uh, race of 10 targets to gold. But there's a long way to go. Coward Holly has to keep shooting well. Ooh, and a miss. And the hand goes up. VAR. VAR. Well, why not? Even if you're a little bit doubtful, give it a go. Bit of exercise for our Russian referee and jury member in charge. Marco McKelly will look around like the rest of the crowd to the big screen. See if there's anything they can see. And into action they go. It does not look like there is much going on there. Let's have a look again at this. Is there any pink powder? Is there any... Well, there's a slight variation in its flight there, but... They've not given that before, have they? I think that was more in hope than expectation. They haven't taken too long to look, have they? And the referee on his way back. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I 
I wasn't really expecting that, but there was a slight deviation. Not a flicker of emotion from Coward Holly. Oh, and a miss, and the VAR goes up straight away from the Czech contingent. Oh, well. Again, was there a significant reason to put that up, or are they just hoping against hope? Because that really would be significant if Liptak has missed this. With not many targets to go, they need to keep it within two if possible. Liptak having a look at the big screen as well. Coward Holly looking into the green distance. Well, again, hard to see what's, if there's anything happening there. Certainly doesn't seem to be any movement in the rotation, but the referees may have spotted something. That's what they do. That's what they're experienced at, and they've had a look, and they're on the way out. It didn't take too long to look at that one, so they're obviously decided quite quickly. <laughs> the crowd <laughs> getting a little bit rowdy. <laughs> oh, and it stays lost. Oh, that could be a crucial moment. Not that enjoyable for the athletes, but the crowd certainly enjoying the drama of the VAR. So this to go three ahead. Oh, and a miss. Some wag behind me shouts VAR, but I don't think this time that was a miss. Both of them missing then that last target. Still to the advantage. Pressure on Coward Holly. Each target he hits, closer he gets to the difference. Five targets to go. Ooh. Yeah, the coach is looking a little bit nervy there. Certainly the British coach. And it's normally at this stage that the athletes are the calmest of them all. Away to the left and hit by Liptak. Big cheer from the British contingent. Oh. Random target disappearing into the distance for some reason. And a miss. A difficult one away to the left from Liptak. And that is bringing huge cheers from the British crowd. Surely now the gold is for Great Britain and Matt Coward Holly. We've still got three targets to go. It could still conceivably change. Liptak certainly can't miss. This to clinch it. Oh, and a puff of powder. Definitely a little bit of pink powder coming out of there. Two targets to go, three the lead. And Matt Coward Holly can relax. He won't want to miss these, though. Liptak was ahead for so long, wasn't he? But that miss, three targets to go. Certainly extinguishes hopes. Last targets then. The 26-year-old does it. Great Britain take the gold medal. Edging Yuri Liptak and the Czech Republic into silver place. And the smiles at last from the young man. His best in the European Championships before now was fifth. He's in the medals, and not only that, he's top of the podium. Well done to Yuri Liptak. Excellent from the veteran. Maro De Filippis. He takes the bronze. The 40-year-old just unable to get ahead of the 39-year-old.
and it's the 26 year old who takes goal. Confirmation Mauro de Filippis of Italy with the bronze, Yuri Liptak of the Czech Republic with the silver, and Matt Coward Holly of Great Britain takes gold.